Hey everyone, Rodev here, and in today's video we're going to be continuing the simulator series, and today we're going to be adding coins to the game that you can pick up on the ground. So to get started, I'm going to hide this frame, and real quick, if this is your first time watching the simulator, the simulator series, go to my channel page and uh, go to playlists, and from there you'll be able to uh, click on the playlist for this series, and then watch the first video first. Um, for those of you who have been following along, let's get right back into it. So. What I'm going to be doing is clicking on the settings frame right here and going down to properties, visible, off. If you don't have exploring properties, which you should by now, go to view, turn them on over here. Output is also very important, so if you're asking me about an error in the game or something isn't working, check your output please. Um, other than that, let's get right into it. So uh, the first thing I'm going to be doing is, well, creating the coins. So for that, we're just going to be using a cylinder. And then we can uh, use the scale tool and all the other tools to resize it however we like and uh, basically just make it look like a nice coin. For me, I have this model here from one of my older games. Um, it's probably a free model. Um, here's the ID of the mesh. If you guys want to use it, you just need to in insert a mesh part and then put this ID in there. And you have this nice uh, mesh here. I'm pretty sure the size is also important, so there it is. and the there should be some sort of mesh size, I'm pretty sure. Um, looks like there isn't, that's fine, just make sure you set this size right here. If you want to have the exact same coin as me. So, um, I'm going to walk you guys through these scripts, and then, yeah. So, inside the spin script, this is actually an efficient, not really an efficient, just port code. We're going to do it like that. So, while wait do, and then there is the actual spinning code. So, uh, yeah. What we can do is actually make this work on the client, so make sure it's in a local script. There we, there we go, it's in a local script. I'm just going to go ahead and test this out real quick. The coin... Oh, of course, uh, the local script won't be working in uh, the actual uh, workspace. Obviously, it needs to be in something like starter UI, so just leave that as a server script. So there we go, now the coin is spinning, and it will look like that for everyone. And now, uh, right here, this is the actual script, so, um, I had some game pass stuff in here, basically, I'm just gonna get rid of most of it, and we'll add all of that in later, we'll make game passes, so, I'm also gonna get rid of this, okay, so, this code, I'm just gonna go ahead and format as well, so go ahead and copy this code, um, make sure you change some of the actual, you know, core stuff, like, over here we're gonna change this to cache, and that should actually be it. So here's the actual delay timer. Um, right now it's 15, you can change it to 4 seconds if you want between the coin respawning. I'm just going to keep it at uh, 2 for the video, or 3. And um, other than that, looks good. Script looks good, just make sure you go ahead and copy this. Right here is actually how much the coin gives. We're going to keep that as 2 right now. So uh, yeah, that's basically how the coin works. I'm going to hop in the game at you guys. So basically right here is the coin. If I step on it, it goes away. And after 3 seconds, it respawns, and it's also spinning. So I have 14 cash, now I have 16, and the UI will also pop up and go up. Step on it again, it goes away. Also, the background music is working, and obviously you guys can't hear it since it is copyright. Um, but basically, I'm just going to go ahead and test this out again. It works. So yeah, that's from the last video. If you guys don't know how to make it, it's the uh, settings. So other than that, guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. As you can see, everything still works. And it's it's going to become a great simulator, hopefully. As long as I don't stop uploading or something, um, we'll make it a great video. So, other than that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.